Weekend action at the 2010 BNP Paribas Open and a packed house waiting with bated breath to watch the four players remaining battle it out for a spot in the final. Defending champion and world number three Rafael Nadal commenced proceedings against Ivan Lubicic, appearing in his first semi-final ATP World Tour Thousands event for nearly three years. With a 5-1 head-to-head record over the Croat, Nadal was the overwhelming favourite, and helped by the windy conditions, he made an immediate impact. It's a nightmare of a start for Lubicic. But the world number 26, after celebrating his 31st birthday yesterday, was far from outplayed by the Spaniard. That's brilliant hands. Sensational reactions from Lubicic. The early break proved to be enough for Nadal, however, and he took the first set with a loss of just three games in 34 minutes. That's exquisite shot selection. And aiming to capture his third title in four years here, the Mallorcan continued his dominance early in the second set. Oh, how's that? Nadal is allowed to lean over, get his record, over the net and hit the ball. But under pressure, Lubicic rose to the occasion. Playing some of his best tennis in this game, when he's absolutely needed to. And with Rafa misfiring on serve, Lubicic won eight of the last ten points to take the set. It's all about timing your push. Rafa seems to be back to his best at the start of the third, but both men traded breaks of serve. Brilliant. A shot given the circumstances. As the contest continued deeper into the third, the occasion drew out the best from both men. Best rally in the match so far. His last five losses here were against top four opponents, but Lubic had suffered no nerves in attempting to become the first Croat to reach the final in Indian Wells. Oh, what a forehand. Well, that one's left a paper trail, I think. The match eventually built to a stunning climax, but in the breaker, Lubic has dominated from the outset to end Nadal's comeback and keep alive his dream to become the first player over 30 to win here since Andre Agassi in 2001. Brilliant. Nadal just a little tentative there, allowed Lubicic the opportunity to dictate play. He's done it! And in some style, a magnificent effort from the 31 year old. It was perfect, yeah. I mean, I, I, I knew I had to be aggressive, and I, and I was, and, and just, you know, go. I went for my shots, and everything just went in. It was absolutely perfect tiebreak for me. I, I knew I knew I had to serve well, but uh, I was I was really almost surprised myself the, the way I was I was feeling the ball in that tiebreak because I was not feeling the pressure at all and tensions. Uh, maybe earlier when I was a break up in a fifth, you know, I felt a little bit, but in the end, I was I was totally relaxed. In the second semi-final, two men with big serves guaranteed a tight match as seventh seed Andy Roddick took on sixth seed Robin Sodling. With three tie breaks in their previous two meetings, it seemed inevitable that the smallest of errors would decide the match. Very well done from both players. The initial reaction from Sodling was a good one. Andy Roddick was looking to record his first victory over Sodling at the third time of asking, and one break point proved to be enough to take the opening set. Well, out of nowhere, Roddick gets the break. Good side tennis. Roddick broke serve in the opening game of the second set, but both men were frustrated by their inconsistent serve. That's better. Really 
good stuff. Dealt with everything that Roddick was able to throw at him throughout the course of that rally. Appearing in his first 1,000 semi-final, the top Swede eventually prevailed and took the match to a decider. In the third set, both men were again in trouble on their own serve, but it was Roddick who made the decisive move. The 2009 doubles champion played some great tennis to record his first victory over Robin Sodling. He will now progress to his first final at this level on tour since 2006. Nicely done. Such good poise on the pressure. No panic whatsoever from Andy Roddick. Success for the American. His first win over Sodlin in three meetings. And the very first time that he has made it through to the final here in Indian Wells. I stuck around. You know, I, I lost a break in the second set and I was up a break in the third set and gave it back once. And, um, you know, today was a, just a matter of, uh, of staying the course. Just one match remains to decide the champion at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden this year. With both men hungry to prevail, can the home support prove enough for Andy Roddick? Hi, I'm Ivan Ljubicic. Watch me fighting for a title on TennisTV.com.